stack development is the most in demand and the highest paying job in the industry. Join 10x Academy pay after placement full stack development program designed by developers from Google and Facebook. Learn programming from scratch, front end and back end development with thousands of hours of coding practice. Get real life developer experience by building your own social media apps. Get trained by hiring managers at the top product based companies. 100% placement is guaranteed. 100% placement guaranteed. Highest placement was 24 LPA of a candidate who was non-coding background. Average salary is 7.1 LPA. People have moved from their previous jobs to some top tech companies with 2x more salary packages. You will be learning programming fundamentals, front-end engineering, back-end engineering. You'll be making full-stack projects and you will learn data structures and algorithms. New batches starts every month. Find link in the description to check out the entire program. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So uh, sorry for such a long gap. Uh, let's get started. The so, problem is palindromic, uh, palindrome link list. Very basic problem and link list. So if you are doing problems of link list, uh, you'll be able uh, to solve this problem easily. And if you do not know linked list, so I would suggest first uh, know, uh, know the basic implementation of linked list and then only solve this problem. So see, uh, we will be given a linked list. So we are given the head of a singly linked list and we need to return true if it is a palindrome. Okay, so I, I hope you uh, you guys know what is uh, what a palindrome is. So palindrome means like if we read it from left to right or we read it from right to left, the uh, answer is same. For example, let's say we have a number 1, 2, 2 to 1. Okay. So if you start reading this number from left to right, so it's 1, 2, 2, 1. And if you start read it from right to left, again it's 1, 2, 2, 1. So in both the cases, it's coming same. Hence, this number, this is a palindrome. Okay. So I hope you understood what a palindrome is. Same thing we need to do. Just uh, we are given a link list and we need to check whether this link list is a palindrome or not. Basically all the values in the uh, nodes of that link list should be a palindrome. Alright. So uh, don't, uh, this is a link list, okay. So this is a, uh, this is a link list. Okay. So one basic basic approach which comes into mind is let's say we are given an array and we need to check whether in the array uh, this is a palindrome or not something like this so what we do so what is the logic what is the approach for a for an array what we will do we will take a pointer here and we take a pointer at the end and we just compare these two values these are equal fine we go we go ahead and this we will go here so these are also same so fine and then L comes here and R also comes here so L we are increasing and R we are decreasing so this is also same hence this is a palindrome okay the values which is inside the array same approach we can do here also what we can do we can take a vector or you can say array we can take a vector and we can traverse the linked list one then again uh, here so we can traverse the linked list and we will store all the elements of that linked list into the um, vector, right? So here we will go to, uh, 2 will come and here we will go to 1 and here 1 will come. Fine. Now, now uh, again we will do the same thing. L we will take here, R we will take at the end uh, index and we will just compare as we have done here. So this is one basic approach, right? Basic approach. And uh, as we can see, what will be the time complexity? We are doing a single traversal of this linked list. And then we are doing a single traversal of the array also, right? We are just going to each element once. So it will be O of n, where n is the number of elements in the linked list. And space complexity, we are making this vector and it has any elements. So O of n will be the space complexity. All right. Now we can reduce the space complexity. Okay, we can if we can reduce it. Now let's see how we can do that. So 
we have this link list 1 2 2 and 1 what we can do right we know we will divide it this link list into half okay and if you see this will be equal to this and this will be equal to this if it is a palindrome if you agree on this then you will be able to understand the approach okay if you do not agree just try to think take different examples let's say you have this one two three two one this is a odd length link list this was even length this is odd length so in this odd length what you can do this will be the middle so you will compare this with this this with this right so they are saying let's say you have a uh, two uh, three two one but here you have three and one something like this you have so you this will be the middle but these two are not same although these are same but these two are not same so it's not a palindrome okay so what we will do right first step will be we will find the middle of the link list so for this problem right there are two pre uh, prerequisites which you need to know one is that you need to know how to find the middle of the link list and second you need to know how to find the reverse of the link list so i will give the link of the uh, link of these videos in the description so if you do not know you can go through those um, okay so see first of all what we will do we will find the middle of the link list so this will come out to be the middle okay because this is an even length link list okay so middle will be this so this will be the head which is given to us and this will be the let's say h2 second head all right now what we needed to compare we need to compare this with this and this with this so what we will do right we will reverse this second part so if you reverse it that is reverse and h2 you will reverse which is the head of the second part link list so 1 2 is the first part and your second part when reversed will become 1 2 it's 2 1 right so if you reverse it it will become 1 2 and then you will compare this with this if they are same you can go ahead and this so this is how you can do it so first step is mid of link list that will be your h2 then what you need to do you need to reverse that h2 link list that is second part of the link list and then compare compare the head this link list with the reverse reverse of this link list okay you can take other examples also for example if we take odd length link list see it's very important to understand why we are doing this okay to in order to optimize space complexity we are doing it so one two three two one we have okay let's say this will be the middle element so here this is this is what what we will do this will be our first link list head will be here and then this will be the h2 but we will reverse it so this will be 1 2 again we will compare this with this and this with this okay so i hope you understood the approach it will be better when we will understand we will see the code and it will be more better if you dry run it yourself so why i'm not dry running because i want you to dry run otherwise you know you will not uh, fully understand so see what we are doing we are given the head of the link list we are storing it in a h variable because it might happen that this head gets modified or something so that's why just we, for the future for the for purposes we will be using this h so to find mid find mid we will find out the mid node and then that will be our head uh, uh, and that uh, then we will reverse the link list okay we will send this mid in the reverse link list okay and uh, what we will do we will how to find middle middle this is slow and fast pointer approach so uh, this one you should know so once we find the mid we will reverse it reverse that link list and then we'll get h2 so this is the code for reversing the link list this is iteratively we are reversing all right 
now we need to just basically compare the two linked list so first value with the first value of second value with the second value that is while head is not null head 2 is not null if head 1 value is not equal to head 2 value for example let's say here it's 3 so this is 1 but this is 3 so if they are not equal just return false because this is obviously not a palindrome value should be same cool and um, otherwise just move forward head 1 is equal to head 1 next means we will move this to this here second element so i hope you understood the uh, problem and the approach okay let me know in the comments if you have any doubt uh, if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you